Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Vanilla LP. Um, I am Underscore. Uh, I'm just down here mining some obsidian for the purpose of creating a uh, another portal in the jungle that is on the ground level um, for the horses. Hopefully that will link up correctly with the nether portal that is in the ceiling. Um, but while I was down here mining uh, obsidian, I happened upon some diamond. Um, so I figured I would bring you guys in to uh, mine that. Uh, the diamond pick that we have here is almost dead, um, so it will be nice to replace it with something. Um, I still have not uh, lucked out in getting a fortune enchantment, so um, we'll have to make do with the, the six. That's a pretty good number of diamonds to find in one go. Um, but I just needed to get ten obsidian, and I have eleven, so I'm uh, happy with that for now, and, uh, whoosh, yeah, there's our buddy hanging out up there, um, we'll come out in the house, so I'm almost at level 30, so I thought I would come out here and look for a few mobs, um, to try and get that last level, and, uh, maybe enchant a book, uh, I'm just gonna go over here and check the mob farm, Probably not going to be very productive at night, so I'm still keeping an eye out in the neighboring areas. I would like to get. Oh, here's a couple guys. Let him fight it out with the skeleton over there. Yeah, knockback not great for fighting skeletons because it just puts them in a good range to use their bow. Um, but for zombies it's pretty nice. I just need a couple more of these guys and then I can enchant something. Uh, my game sounds are pretty low right now, so I'll look at them. Spawning in groups, just like they're supposed to. Oh, wow. I'm having terrain difficulties, apparently. I'll just wait for you. How about that? Um, what'd you do with your skeleton friend? There were two skeletons. Oh, there he is. Okay. I was worried they forgot about you. Oh, thanks for that, guy. Yep. Um, I do need to eat, so I'll switch to my bow for the time being. Oh, look at all you guys. Adorable. Oh, man, really? With the tree? This is not great terrain. Um, but I don't even have the chicken on my bar. <laughs> Can I eat before he comes over here? Nope, oh, and level 30, perfect. Um, I'm a little angry with these guys over here, so I'm gonna see if I can get rid of them as well. Where'd you guys go? Oh, perfect, bucket of water. Did they despawn? Is there lava down there? Must have been. Couple more levels over here. I don't know where that other skeleton went, but I just saw another zombie spawn. Why does your XP have to come all the way over here? Um, so we have what we need as far as XP. I'm going to punish you for what your friends did. Anyway. So that's taken care of. I'm going to go back to the house and enchant something. Oh, hello. 
Ah, another giant pit. That's awesome. Awesome thing to have in a uh, vanilla map with no jetpacks. Just like random pits straight down. Uh, I'm surprised I'm finding them just by, you know, stumbling across them and not by stumbling into them. Um, that would kill me pretty quick. That base I took out over there. Um, I don't remember if I showed this or not. My little secret way down to the enchanting table. Um, let's grab a book, see if we can get anything useful. I would like fortune or something like that. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let that despawn out of anger. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go over to the jungle and um, build that other nether portal. I haven't decided if I'm going to take the horse or not. That was kind of a headache the last time. I do need to uh, expand the tunnel in the nether. Uh, it needs to be a little taller. I had trouble when I was taking the horse through there before. Um, I hit my head. So that was unpleasant. Uh, let me get that lead. Where are you going, guy? Oh, you can't fit through there anyway. Oh, I wanted to show over here. I saw in a YouTube video uh, that B00 had done. I didn't know you could do this, but I was having issues with how to get through this little, ho little um, opening um, without. The horse can't jump over this because it's not tall enough. Um, so I kept having to remove the fences and put them back. But apparently, if you put two of these fence gates next to each other. Where'd he go? Where'd the horse go? Uh, if you put two of the fence gates next to each other, the horse can walk through them. Um, so, I thought I would try that, and it works! Um, you just have to walk up and... Oh, you can't be in them, I guess. And he goes right through. And then, as long as you close one after, it, uh, they can't get back through, so that works out. Um, I put it over on this side as well. Um, I did grab a little bit more gravel while I was down in the basement there um, to finish some of this out. Oh, don't you dare. I repaired that stable so many times at this point that it's getting a little tedious. Um, I don't run away fast enough, I guess, when the creepers come. So, yeah, I've had to do quite a bit of fixing up. Um, you see chickens everywhere? Uh, that is because... That little gap... Uh, apparently not only was it large enough to let baby chickens out, but it was also large enough to let adult chickens out. Um, so... Just like I lost most of my cows, I also lost uh, most of my chickens as well. And speaking of cows, let's go ahead and breed these guys. So we can have four. Getting up there. Um, can I grab this egg? Yes, I can. Chickens are a little easier to breed. Uh, what else did I change? I think that's it. I don't think I changed anything else. I still need to chop that jungle tree down. I thought I was running out of jungle wood, but I really wasn't. Um, so... I have to chop that guy down at some point. Oh! This isn't wide enough. Um, but he can jump. So we'll let him do that. And I think these stairs are just wide enough. Maybe not. Is he going to go through? I should put a fence down here. I'm carrying fences and leads with me everywhere now because I keep having to uh, tie the horse up in various places. So I'm going to... Oh, that's string. That's not a lead. I did find a little glitch where the leads seem to duplicate themselves um, as you're going through another portal. 
Um, so I haven't made any more leads. I've just been using the ones that have been dupe glitched as I go back and forth through these portals. I don't think I need a shovel right now, so I'm just going to go ahead through. See you later, horsey. That is the second time that's happened. Every time I go through this portal, there seems to be a creeper um, that has gone through ahead of me. So I get blown up once I get to the other side. Um, so that's a little annoying, uh, but it doesn't kill me. So that's actually why those bottom two stairs were missing on this side, because that happened the last time I was here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and break this portal up here. And hopefully when I create the one on the ground, it will link up to that one I previously created. on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on this side again. Oh, now I need that shovel. So... over here. And I'm not sure if the vines will interfere with this or not. Oh, I left that flint and steel there, but I have the materials to make another one, so it's not a big deal. And the vines are messing it up. So that worked. Hopefully it won't make a new one when I go back through. No, it didn't. Perfect. Okay, so I just need to take that other, um, that other stuff down up there. Um, gonna make some more shears to get some vines to put on that portal. I'm sure I have some vines in that chest up there, but it's too easy to make new shears. Let's go and grab the horse and bring him over here, just for kicks. Make sure all this is traversable. So the glitch with the leads, if I can attempt to replicate it, works like this. Uh, you tie the horse up on one end of another portal, and then um, you get them through it, which this guy is not cooperating very well. And then you see the leads still here. or it was here. Anyway, so I was getting a lead at this end, and then when I went through, I get two leads. Um, so yeah, it's a weird thing, but I guess if you don't feel like making a lot of leads, um, you can do something like that. Uh, I'm gonna put a fence here in case I wanna tie up here. And then I will take him and go through this way. Uh, this is all good. That looks a little, little low there. 
Uh, this is all fine. A uh, little low at the very top here. But otherwise fine. Uh, I'm going to try to duplicate that glitch again um, just with a horse on a lead that I'm holding and see if I can get two um, leads that way as well. I need to kind of push him through the portal. Go through the portal. Go through. Okay, so I have four now, so let's see how many I have when I go through. And I have six. Yeah, so even if you're just holding it, it still works. Um, so if you want to make more leads and be cheaty at the same time, uh, you can do it like that. Um, I still have not found any name tags, um, which is something I would like to have. Um, I'd also like to have more saddles, uh, so I can play around with these horses a little more. But um, I haven't done a lot of mining, so what I might do for the rest of the episode is um, just explore that mine shaft a little more down there and see if I can find any more. Um, see if I can find any name tags or any more saddles. So unfortunately I was not successful in finding a name tag. Um, I broke off from uh, the mine shaft and actually explored that uh, ravine. Um, that's right at the bottom of the ladder there, and uh, I was hoping to find like a dungeon or something that maybe connected to one of the branching caves, but there didn't really appear to be any branching caves, um, so I didn't find anything. But um, we got our another portal set up, and everything's safe to bring horses over here now. I don't have to worry about tying them up in the top of a tree or anything. So that's good, and um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.